solve the given system of Lie equations by either Gaussian elimination or Gauss Jordan elimination. So here's the system of equation. Now you have four a system of four equations, which means that you will have four nouns. Alright. First of all, let's rewrite let's put this into a matrix form. So basically basically you just take the the leading coefficient of x1, x2, x3, x4 and uh, the value for the right side and put it into a matrix. Okay? So now your goal is to need to make a matrix have diagonal line of one like this and the rest are zero. You can make it downward diagonal line or upward diagonal line one. Doesn't matter but we used to do it in downward diagonal line one. So first thing you see that here we have a pivot which is the one. Now we need to zero this entry out. Okay, how? Okay, watch carefully because I will do this once everything in one matrix. Okay, so let me cover the second and third row. Just ignore the second and third row, okay? So in order to get this, the second the second entry of the second row, first column, zero, make it zero. You need to multiply the first row by negative one and add it up onto the second row. Negative one times one, negative one plus one, zero. Negative one times one, negative one plus one, zero. Negative one times negative one, positive one plus one, two. Negative one times negative one, positive two plus one, two. Negative one times negative one, positive one plus three, four. Okay. Now we're done with the the second row. Now for the third row, how to make the third row become zero? Again, we are going to do the same thing. Multiply the first row by negative one, add it up onto the third row. Negative one times one, negative one plus one, zero. Negative one times one, negative one, minus one, negative two. Negative one times negative one, positive one plus one, two, positive two. Negative one times negative one, positive one plus negative one, zero. Negative one times negative one, positive one plus three, four. Okay. Now for the last row. To make this entry become zero, we are going to do the same thing. Multiply the first row by negative four and add it up onto the fourth row. Negative four times one, negative four plus four, zero. Negative four times one, negative four plus one, negative three. Negative four times negative one, positive four, minus two, positive two. Negative four times negative one, positive four, plus one, five. Negative four times negative one, positive four, plus zero, positive four. Okay, now we get or one on the first row, first column, and zero, uh, or zero down of the column, okay? Next, we need to get this one right here, but this already zero, right? So how? Well, you can move the row around, up and down, is one of the property of uh, got join the elimination, okay? So let's see which one you want to move. Well, I want to move this one, okay? Because if I make this one, I need to divide this by negative two, and you can see that I don't get any fraction here. So this is the, would be the best join. Keep the first row the same. Move the third row up. Move the second row down. Rewrite the fourth row, okay? Follow me. Again, keep the first row the same. Move second row uh, down third row up, keep the fourth row the same, rewrite the fourth row, okay? So this is the new matrix. Now, here's my pivot. I need to make this become a pivot, which is one. I need to divide the whole row by negative two. So if I divide this by negative two, I got zero. Negative two divided by negative two, one. Negative two divided by negative two, negative one. Zero divided by negative two, zero. Four divided by negative two, negative two, okay? And then rewrite the first, third, and the fourth row, okay? Now we have this is our pivot. So we need to make the rest entry of this column zero. Okay, let's do the first row first. So to make this become zero, I need to multiply the second row by negative one and add it up onto the first row. Negative one times zero, zero plus one, one. Negative one times one, negative one plus one, zero. Negative one times negative one, positive one plus negative one, zero. Negative one times zero, zero, minus one, minus one. Negative one times negative two, positive two, minus one, positive one. Okay. All right. Now the 
third row already has zero so we just rewrite the third row the fourth row make it become zero again multiply the second row the row that has your pivot multiply the second row by negative not by positive three and add it up onto the fourth row negative three times zero zero plus zero zero negative uh, positive three times one positive three minus three zero three times negative one negative three plus two negative one three times zero zero plus five five three times negative two negative six plus four negative two okay all right now we got one one in all zeros up uh, t above and below that those pivots now the next step we need to get this pivot which means that we need to divide the third row by two okay doing that i will have zero zero one one two okay and then rewrite for a second in the fourth row okay just rewrite the rows you don't touch you haven't touched right now here's how new matrix now make this pivot so the first row we already have zero just rewrite it for the second row i need to make this zero so multiply the third row by negative um, well so sorry let me take it back rewrite the first row here is all pivot the third row is all pivot so rewrite the third row the first row already has zero so rewrite the first row second row so to make this become zero you add the second and the third row and the second row together so zero plus zero 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 plus one 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 minus one zero one plus zero one two minus two zero okay now for the last row how to make this zero well add the third row to the fourth row zero plus zero 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 plus zero zero one minus one zero one plus five six two minus two zero okay now so we have one 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 in this diagonal line and these in the yeah, above entries and below entries are zeros that's good now let's make this pivot okay now let's make this a pivot so divide this by six well if you do that you will get one zero 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 one equals zero because zero because zero divided by six equals zero okay and then rewrite first, second, and third rows. Okay. Now I'm on this matrix. So this is my pivot. So I need to zero out these entries above this one. How? Okay. Let's do it step by step. So looking at the third row. To make this zero, uh, let me cover the second, the first and second rows. To make this become zero, I need to multiply the fourth row by negative one and add it up onto the third row. So negative one zero plus zero 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 plus zero 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 plus one one negative one plus one zero negative zero negative one times zero zero plus two two okay now this make this become zero again multiply the fourth row by negative one and add it up onto the second row so our entries to the left of one stay the same for this one negative one plus one zero negative one times zero zero plus zero zero okay now for the first row to make this become zero add the fourth row and the first row together zero plus one one zero plus zero 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 plus zero zero one minus one zero zero plus one one okay so our final solution will be x1 equals one x2 equals x4 equals zero and then x3 equals two okay let me say that again x1 equals 1, x2 equals x4 equals 0, x3 equals 2, okay? So that if you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.